All right, hello everyone and welcome back to LC Model Shipbuilding. So we are going to start on our newest uh, project, which is the SS United States. Um, this is a model I've had since I was a, a young, young little boy. Um, I built it uh, years ago, back in the 90s. Uh, it sat in my parents' attic, which I'll kind of go through that later in the video. Anyway, um, this ship has quite a bit of history to it. It was launched in uh, 1952. It took the blue ribbon um, on both directions from uh, America to England and from England back. Uh, it beat the Queen Mary by uh, almost 10 hours on its uh, first voyage. Um, it was originally built as a ocean liner, obviously, but it could be converted easily over to a troop ship. So it was partially subsidized by the United States government. Um, they uh, also had a propulsion system that was basically the same as used in aircraft carriers at the time. Um, so the actual plans for the ship were top secret for quite a while. Um, so anyway, the ship currently is rotting away in Philadelphia. Um, and, uh, you know, it, I've seen it several times in person. Um, it's, it's a shame to see it, uh, sitting in such disarray. So, Hopefully someday somebody decides to uh, do something with it and uh, turn it into what it used to be or at least make it look like it used to. Um, it would definitely be great for a hotel, convention center, um, I don't know, casino. There could be all kinds of different projects that they could do with that space. Um, it's a big ship. It's uh, It comes in at around 980 or 990 feet, somewhere just short of a thousand feet, the uh, designer, William Francis Gibbs, wanted to build America's first uh, 1,000 foot ocean liner, but that became impossible because the Panama Canal could not fit anything um, quite that big, so they had to settle at 980 or 90 feet. So anyway, um, this model is not the best model. I mean, the detail on it is actually pretty bad. Um, we're going to fix as much of that as we can as we go along here, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this build. Uh, like I said, it's something I've had for a long time. Um, I was happy at Christmas time to see if my parents still had it, uh, up in their attic and, uh, I took it home and, uh, yeah, we're going to take it all apart and we're going to put a bunch of photo etch on it and, uh, correct a lot of things to make it more historically accurate. So... Thanks for tuning in. Make sure, uh, make sure if you haven't already, you subscribe so you're getting the updates on the uh, videos. Um, we got a lot coming in the future, so thank you very much. Okay, here we go. So, SS United States, um, currently sitting in Philadelphia, but here is our model. This sat in my parents' attic uh, for oh about 20 years. Um, definitely was not exactly the best uh, kit when it was actually produced, but it is the closest that uh, we have to the United States um, in order to build a model kit, I guess. So what we're gonna start with is basically just taking it apart. The good thing on this, um, it is the glue is so old and dilapidated and just dead that I can literally almost just pull pull parts off without even breaking them um i mean they're coming they're coming off very nice so i'll be able to just basically clean this up and uh we're gonna end up letting it soak in some rubbing alcohol for a um for a couple days well not days but a couple hours we'll call it a couple hours i did already try starting to strip some of the back over here um, just as a test with the rubbing alcohol and it's coming off fine so I have no real worries on this uh, actually working. Um, when I was younger and originally built this ship I did light it and uh, it was a long time ago so what you're gonna see for lighting <laughs> is a whole bunch of Christmas lights. Um, we're gonna upgrade this with LEDs and uh, really just uh make it look good but as you can see in just a short amount of time we've already uh we've already got the major parts of the ship taken apart um, 
there was not a lot of uh, not a lot of pieces that even went into this ship when you built it originally. So I don't foresee this build taking all that long. Um, but what we are going to do is we're going to cut away all of this. Um, it's all going to get photo etch on it, and uh, we'll get this all nice and smooth and. Yeah, I got the green that uh, the decks originally were. Uh, the decks on the United States were an epoxy, um, and they had a very green, distinct green shade to them. So it will be the correct looking decks. The bridge here, um, <laughs> when they built this model, they did this weird overhang. It looks really nothing like the original ship. So we're going to end up scratch building some... Uh, bridge work and figuring out how that's going to go, but um, that's essentially what we're starting with. Um, all these ladders and stairwells, they'll all be replaced with photo etch. Um, the lifeboat davits are all going to come off and they're going to be replaced. I have new lifeboats for it as well that were 3D printed by Eric Goggins. So essentially, I'm just going to take apart the whole entire thing and rebuild it. And uh, as you can see, it's easily coming apart without really any effort. Um, so that should make this pretty easy. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get all the parts stripped down. And then uh, I'll come back to you and start to show you how, how we're going to strip it. All right. See you in a bit. Okay, we're back again. So I got all the railings off of this piece here, which is uh, basically the main deck of the superstructure. You can see all the lifeboat davit marks. Um, they'll all get sanded down flush and I'll be sanding all the edging here. Um, so far, not too bad. Um, it did create a large pile of railings, as you can see right there. Those are all pieces from uh, the different decks that I've taken apart so far. Um, I do have my parts soaking still. Uh, they are coming along well. Um, I gener I've been using a uh, pair of gloves with this, but uh, I guess I might as well just to be safe. Plus, it's very messy, but um, I've been using a nylon bristle brush to kind of see how it is coming apart. And so far, it is working pretty well. Now... I don't know if I used an enamel underneath. I'm guessing probably late 90s, it would have been enamel. Um, I know the upper coats were, uh, were acrylic, so they're coming off fairly easy. But uh, yeah, the lower one's a little bit harder. Um, the funnels, they, uh, they also are definitely enamel. I can tell by how thick it is. So I'm just going to continue to let them soak. As you can see, it is getting to a point where it'll start to peel off, um, which is great. That's kind of what I was looking for so that uh, I can get it as close to back to bare plastic as possible. Um, but another couple hours and I think we'll be pretty well soaked in on that. Yeah. It's definitely getting softer but anyway there's that and then uh i did work on the poop deck already which i took all the railings off of that and then sanded it down um still got to hit it with a, a probably a 400 grit yet this was done with 300 i want to say or 280 something like that but uh did that and then uh the hull this has been sanded down. Um, it's coming out pretty good. Not too concerned with that. All the detail did stay in the hull, so that'll be there. Once I uh, once I get finished here, I'm gonna obviously add some uh, some Tamiya filler in here to get some of these low spots taken care of. Um, then we'll get that primed up. So I'd anticipate me having this primed later today at some point. But we'll see. Uh, what else? Oh, prop uh, 
prop wings. I only have one that's salvageable. So what I'm gonna do is actually remold new ones with some resin. Um, that will be one of the video, or a portion of one of the videos uh, where I'm gonna show you how to make actual molds and then how to uh, fill it with the resin, let it sit, and uh, we'll have new parts that will look pretty identical to the original. So the one good thing about this, they are all the same. All four of them are the same. So not a big deal. Um, and like I said, being that I have one that's uh, in good shape, I'll be able to remake it. So anyway, stay tuned and uh, we'll keep moving on. All right, I've spent some time sanding and got the hull pretty much where I want it to be. Um, I know it's not real pretty right now, but once I get some primer on here and it gets dried up, she's going to look pretty good. So it's very nice and smooth now. Um, I also paint cars, so I'm, I'm kind of good at the whole bodywork thing. But uh, I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. It feels pretty, pretty straight. So looking forward to getting some uh, primer on it and seeing how we look. All right, we'll be back in a bit. Okay, <clears throat> so here we go. The hull is primered in black. Um, it's looking pretty good. I have it taped off and ready to spray our red. So we're going to be hitting it with some red here in just a minute. I have the first coat of white on the, um, on the upper superstructure. That's coming out okay. I'm going to spray it again and do the inside. Then we're going to run some foil tape along the lower portions here. And I'll leave this part clear, not clear, but white, so that way uh, the light pass through will be uh, minimized down here on the lower section. So let me go ahead and get this painted up, and uh, we'll come back for peeling it off. Uh, it has been about a day since I last posted, so we'll also take a look at this and see how our, uh, our pot of uh, soup is doing. So... We'll be back soon. Okay, we're back again. I just painted the lower section of the hull. We went this color of red, which is uh, it's a bright red. I know it is, but uh, every picture I'm finding in the United States, that's pretty much what it looked like. So that is what we went with. Um, got these out of the uh, alcohol bath, and uh, they're pretty well stripped down to bare plastic. Um, very little sanding I'll actually have to do on it, and I basically just worked them with the scrub brush. Let them sit in there for about 24 hours, and uh, I just have to cut the uh, fences off here, but uh, everything seems to have turned out pretty good. It, it looks like uh, that worked really, really well, actually. So, note to self, if you ever get paint on something that you didn't want to get it on, rubbing alcohol soaking, um, it, it will be perfectly fine. It does nothing to the plastic. Plastic is still hard. Did not soften or anything like that. Um, I'll clean up these edges once I get the railing cut off. I just wanted to get the majority of it off. And then I'll clean up the old glue marks that are along the bottom here. Uh, we'll hit this then with white paint. And the decks will be green on top. So um, we'll get that roll in here as we start moving. Um, but... My main focus is going to be, like I said, cutting these off and getting the hull painted. So once the hull's painted, I'll bring that back up and uh, we'll take a look at the red um, after it dries. I want to do another coat on it, though. All right, we'll be back in a bit. Well, all right. I uh, I didn't have enough paint. I didn't have enough paint to finish the hull, so I had to order more. So I guess I'm going to go on to the bridge um, because, uh, yeah, I got to wait for paint to get here. So... This model kit did not make the bridge look even close to accurate. So that is supposed to be the bridge down there. And there's this real big overhang that doesn't really exist. This should be cut right around here. And I'm going to show a picture of it in just a second. But we're going to cut that right down in there. We're going to get rid of the decal that's here. Because um, that part does stay. It's not actually fencing like the decal would depict. Um, then... We're going to cut, like I said, cut this piece off, and we're going to make windows in here. So this kit, unfortunately, the way they made their windows on the upper decks was uh, decals. So not real accurate looking. Um, but anyway, how I'm going to cut that is just basically come right along 
the top edge here of where the bridge box would be and just snip right along. Okay, so that kind of gives me that. Now, you'll see in the picture that I'm going to show you, there is a slight awning, and I'll just end up using a little piece of styrene for that, and uh, it will look fine. But I'll show you the picture real quick, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, the bridge is drastically different than what I had going. So... I went ahead and got the deck right there cut, which is right in front of the bridge. I got the roof cut off of the bridge. And from a top view, what I think I'm going to have to do to get this right is actually move it forward of where it's supposed to be, because that's the uh, that's where the rear wall is supposed to go, so it's actually supposed to be back here. But I'm going to move it forward. I will make this wall either a little bit longer with some styrene or i'm going to cut that down flush i haven't decided yet but i'm probably leaning towards cutting it down flush that then gives me the bridge barely at the ledge there as it was and then for the windows i came up with my solution so you can see some little people in there waving to you and i think we're we're good to go now, in all seriousness, um, what that is going to be, I just marked this out, I'm going to drill holes along the corners and the edge, and then I will, uh, I will uh, cut it with an X-Acto knife, and then to make the window, uh, the window frames, um, I'm either going to use styrene or I'm going to use brass. I haven't decided yet until I actually get this cut and done. So I'm going to go ahead and drill these out a little bit. And then I'll come back to you when I'm starting to cut. All right, be back in a minute. Okay, so I got my bridge opened up. And I think I might have found my solution for the windows as well. So when I was looking at my doors that I'm going to put one over here, I noticed that if I hold this up, it will be almost perfect. So I can mount that. I'm just going to cut these and mount them right onto here um, with some CA glue. And I will have my bridge windows with that. And then I noticed a small railing that kind of comes across right on the front here. So it kind of looks like this was basically probably just for emergency purposes that they could get out through there but there is definitely a railing there so we're going to go ahead and add that on real quick and then uh yeah i think i'll have the bridge um the bridge problem solved at that point so we're going to put our doors on these are just uh actually from battleship uh these were from when I did the Missouri back a couple years ago. I had a ton left over because I bought two sets. So, yeah, it's always good to have extra. And then when I paint all of this, it will all be matching in and looking good. So, a little touch of CA glue. We're going to put our door on right there. And as much as I'd love to have a window in there, um... I don't think that I'm going to try that. I might just add like a, a deck light or something like that with fiber optic and kind of call it done. From pictures I'm seeing, I do believe there's supposed to be a window right there, but uh, mm, I don't know. We'll see. It will at least look more detailed than what it originally was like i said this kit just lacks detail all the way across the board um there's several windows i'm going to have to try to drill out too and just kind of look at pictures of where they're supposed to be located the one real good thing about this ship 
is that it still exists. I mean, being that it's sitting in Philadelphia, um, I've actually seen it in person more than a couple times, so I kind of have the gist of what it looks like in my head already, and uh, I have several pictures that I can just kind of go back and relate to to make sure I'm getting it as close as I possibly can. Okay, they don't want to cut real easy. So we're going to use our... Well, I heard it drop. Where it dropped, I don't know. So, cut a new one. bent a little bit coming out of that sprue, but yeah, it's going to work. And I think what I'll do on the bottom, before I put the railing on, just to cover where these lines are going to be. I'll just put a real thin piece of styrene on there to kind of be a trim piece. <laughs> of course. It only does this when you're actually recording. Any other time, it'll go right on. But that's the nature. All right, well, I'm going to try that off camera and I'll come back to you. I think you get the idea. All right, so I got my windows down. I got my uh, my trim there. And I kind of decided that I think I want to put a little bit more definition on the window. Um, so I cut up these little tiny pieces of styrene that are going to go right over the, um, right over the uh, brass that I put down. And that will actually make the window look a little bit thicker. And cut it 5 millimeter. They fit right in there perfectly. And they look pretty good. So I'm going to put them in real quick. And then uh, we'll put the hand railing on on the front. And then I realized the next conundrum. How this model is built. Now that the bridge will be open and viewable, you'll be able to see that there's no floor. So, next we're going to have to add a floor, which also probably means that I will want to put some, some uh, control units of some sort in there, since it'll be somewhat visible. And this is how it starts. But that's okay because I've allotted probably a couple weeks to this project before we move on to our next build being the Constitution as I continue to collect parts for Titanic. So we have some time. And I'm not sure if anybody has saw, well, actually, I know people on the channel have saw the preview for the Titanic coming in the future. Um, as I start to get parts around and whatnot, I'll be doing some updates on, uh, on that. But we're not going to be starting that until sometime probably in the summer at this point, I'm guessing. Um, 
just with some of the length of time it'll take to get parts um, like some of them are five to six weeks out from order I did do my first uh, couple orders of aftermarket parts for it already but like I said there's gonna be some time I don't like that one come on So, anyway, after I get these on, I'll put a uh, piece of acetate window behind it, and then uh, make a decision as to what I'm going to do with uh, control units inside the bridge. Okay, it's actually starting to look pretty convincing now at this point. just a little bit too far over the first time. All right, three more to go. So I'll pause it at this point and uh, we'll come back when I put the acetate window in. Okay, I got those all on. Now we're going to take a little bit of canopy glue and that's gonna go on the back side here and. Our canopy glue dries very nice and clear, so you won't be able to really see any of the glue. That's the whole point. We'll get that on there. And I already cut this piece of acetate. Oh good, I got glue on me. Need to go a little bit shorter. Okay. And we're just going to drop that a little bit shorter yet. Try this again. Okay, so just going to hold it there for a couple minutes. Now, the floor that I was talking about, which will now be visible, is this open spot right here. So to fix that, I'm going to just take a piece of styrene and glue it from here over to here and coat that in. Then uh, from there, we'll now have a floor in our bridge, and I'll probably put a wall back here um, in order to kind of make it not appear as wide open as it currently does. So that's the next plan. I got to see if I can find some color pictures of the bridge, which would be fantastic. Um, I'm sure they're out there. Again, this, this ship is not as old as a lot of them that I've built. So pictures are a little bit more readily available. I did just use a touch of CA glue to get this to set up a little quicker. All right, there we go. So now we got glass in our window. It's looking good. Happy with it. Aside from that drip going up. Okay. There we go. So. 
You can see a reflection off of it once the camera focuses. And that's the look we're going for. All right, so next up, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, figure out how big of a piece of styrene I need for this. I've had this sheet of styrene for, I don't know how long, years. Although I think I'm going to end up using quite a bit of styrene on uh, the Titanic interior because we are going to be doing the full interior on that. So I'm going to have to stock up a little bit on styrene because the walls will be made of styrene. I do know Woody's makes the metal ones, but I'm using the, uh, the graphics from B&B &B and spending the money on Woody's probably won't be worth it in the fact that uh, they're going to end up getting covered with decals anyhow. But from what I see, his pieces are beautiful. This styrene might be just a touch too thick for what I'm trying to do here, but it'll work. It will get the job done. All right, I'm just gonna glue that into place with regular model cement. Now the bridge I will probably backlight with either green or uh, light blue. I haven't decided yet, but it'll definitely definitely be a light in there that will be fairly dim compared to the rest of the ship. All right, so we got that. That will sit there like that. Yeah. Yes, that will work. And then this will all have railing along the top here. And, uh, oh, I still got to put the banister on the front. So we'll do that real quick while we're, while we're at it here. All right, for that, I'm using uh, bead wire. I actually found during Lusitania, I started with uh, brass uh, rod in that in the video series there, and uh, as it went on, I moved over to the brass or the um, bead wire. It just really worked almost a little bit better, only because. Uh, it was a little bit more bendable. Okay, so I'll let that sit there for a minute. Now, these railings, unlike the Lusitania video, if you followed that, will not get painted brown. Um, they would not have been wood. They were actually painted white from everything I can see. Um, and then the side railings on the ship were actually all aluminum. Um, John Gibbs, the uh, designer of the United States, always said he had memories of the Normandy, which burned in New York City in the pier um, due to a welding accident, and he didn't want his ship to ever possibly have that fate. So he went to painstaking efforts to make sure the ship was as fireproof and retardant as possible all the way up to the point that uh, even the piano, um, even the piano could not be wood, but he did eventually cave in on that one. Just realized something, the acetate has to come out until we paint, so no worries. Okay. So, anyway, I'm liking how the bridge is looking. I am going to make a decision on that window, um, see if I'm going to do it or not. But uh, I'll be back in a few. Well, going back and looking, um, it actually had two sliding doors on the side, so I'm not going to try to cut this styrene or this. Uh, 
this open because it's just not going to work. So I'm going to put two doors next to each other and uh, that's pretty much where we're going to leave that. It just is not going to be possible. It is actually molded pretty thick there. So we'll put the doors on and paint them gray because that's what color they were in the uh, picture that I will add right after this segment. But yeah, I knew I wasn't going to be able to get perfection out of this, but it is what it is. Other thing that I ended up doing, I noticed the windows, um, actually a Facebook user, uh, Austin noticed the windows were a little bit too long. So pointed that out, um, got it kind of covered over right now with uh, putty. We'll get that sanded down once it dries and then the bridge should look pretty convincing. So I'm pretty happy with it now at this point. Um, looking at it from the front here, also had to do a little bit of work on there, but uh, once it's on, it will it will look the part. So um, got to put three little holes right in here and then one right in here for a window once I sand this down. And there was kind of a little railing that went along the bridge wings on the outside part so we got that there now but okay so this feels like an ideal place to split the video um, but as you can see the bridge area has been repainted sanded down and uh, I'm real happy with how that turned out um, I think it's gonna look real good now I will split right about here and it will be green going forward and then gray back here as the real ship was and then this deck down here will all be green the bridge itself is not glued down yet i do have my subfloor kind of built up but uh yeah once it goes on there and uh and uh it's sitting there it it definitely looks how it's supposed to look now and um i'm much happier than than what it was before also drilled out all the holes along the lower deck here for the windows. Um, had to match a lot of pictures to the real ship sitting in Philadelphia. Um, luckily, they're available still. So anyway, that's where we're going to leave this video. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you subscribe so you see the next updates as we continue to go on this rebuild. All right, y'all have a great week.